So my name is Rajesh and uh, this is basically my son's project. So he um, basically learns at home by making. So your son made this? My son made this. Okay. I did not make this. Okay. So he learns at home by making. He doesn't go to school. So this is a self-balancing unicycle. Self-balancing because it does a very interesting thing. There is a gyroscopic sensor in there which you stand on these two pedals and it constantly is detecting your body position. So if you just lean forward even a degree or two, it detects that and it starts moving forward. That's the Arduino on which the code is running and that's the motor controller which controls the motor. So the interesting thing is it will never ever let you fall front or back. That's a battery indicator. So these are lithium polymer batteries. But there is an external charger and we just connect that to these cables and it just charges. This is a 280 watt motor, so which is about a quarter HP. Okay, little more than quarter HP, one third HP motor. This battery packs on full charge will run for about one hour. Uh, typically for full charge, it takes about 30 minutes. So we just hook up the battery here and that's how it charges. Uh, so actually the movement is inspired from the movement of water that you see, like the waves, uh, they have a very uh, smooth and undulating motion. So I'm trying to replicate, there's a motor that is rotating uh, at a particular speed and then all the things that you see are hanging from uh, four strings. And when it moves, it sort of creates that pattern. I actually did mechanical engineering, after which I did uh, post-graduation in design, it's called New Media Design. So there we deal with, uh, like we deal with different, different things, we deal with digital as well as physical uh, design. Yeah, so I'm Prasanna Deshmukh, uh, I'm basically professionally I'm astronomer, okay. but uh, here I'm demonstrating uh, something which I do as a hobby. Okay. So I'm interested in bird watching. Uh, I have uh, attached one bird feeder on that tree. So there is a camera which is an infrared camera because if you want to do nighttime images like imaging the owls and all, you can do with that. And it is taking images there okay. and wirelessly transmitting to my tablet. So, how did you basically here. program this? Did you use Python which comes? Yeah, so uh, the operating system inside this is a uh, Raspbian, Raspbian, whereas the co code which is used for taking the images, setting the different configuration is in Python. You can, you can open uh, using a VNC server okay. or I have another application in which a person, suppose somebody is interested to install such a bird cam in their home and they don't have time to kind of continuously look into the computer and see what happening. So the IR trigger will take the images only when there is a bird and when you come from office to your home and there will be a screen in, in your home, just play, press, press one button and it will give you a kind of time lapse or the slideshow of all the birds who visited to your uh, garden. This is a robot called Rora, so and we have a slate. So in this slate, we can keep the buttons, like you know, when wall, then go right. So that means whenever the wall is there, it will go, it will take a right turn, it will keep going. Like this, we have n number of programs here. We can make a good morning alarm. And keep the bot near to the window. So whenever the light comes on it, it will so go to his room. Yeah, we have a light dependent resistor. We have a touch sensor, we have a rain sensor and we have a two LEDs for the eyes and we have a clap sensor and we have a proximity sensor. How do these two communicate with each other? So we, it's communicating through RF, RF, RF 433 MHz. So, okay. so this has to be kept really near to each other? Yeah, we can go up to, you know, uh, maybe uh, two to three meters. What kind of a microprocessor are you using? We are using Atmega, Atmega 2560, yeah. Okay. For this we are using Atmega 2560. And for this, we are using Arduino Mini. Right now, we are using the you know uh, rechargeable batteries here. So I'll just give you the demo. Yeah. So this is a slate. You can just switch on here. So now the program is ready. You can just have to scan it. So once you scan, okay. Since there is there was an obstacle, it turned right. So it will turn right and it will keep going straight.
my name is Aryan. This is my project called Smart School Bag. This tells you if you need a book in school today or not. Okay. It also tells you if you need the if you need a raincoat in school today or not, or a jacket in school today or not. The RFID reader detects the RFID tag, sends a message to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi checks the timetable in the Scratch-based program, and then shows green or red. So when I when I show maths, this is maths book. Yes, I need it. It shows the green letter day. Biology book. No idea. It shows me the red LED. This all works on the basis of the timetable. This also tells the temperature today. So temperature now is 28. I don't need a jacket and zero percent of rain. But I don't. I don't need a, a raincoat today throughout because it tells the throughout forecast. What is the sensor? Then? Temperature sensor. But this was just for an addition of temperature. But this doesn't work for a long range and doesn't show forecast. So the temperature that you show here comes from here. Or no, it's an open API. Open API means like uh, it takes from something else. It calls like from weather.com. It takes all the information and pastes here.